so very good evening everyone today on behalf of cognize nutrition i am dietitian shomendu ghosh welcomes you all for a very important topic uh, i will say it is very important because this social awareness is very much requ required as a dietitian or nutritionist you people always uh, are awareing people on diabetes education different health education camps public education community nutrition so this is also the part of community nutrition i request others to mute yourself and uh, then we can have a comfortable uh, you can listen it comfortably so the important thing about today's is unawareness so people are unaware when the mothers are going to the pediatrician clinic also so no pediatrician will suggest for bottle feeding and there are many disadvantage of bottle feeding bottle feeding doesn't mean only the chemical or the material of the bottle that disadvantage we are not talking about we are also talking about the disadvantage that is the communication between the mother and the child that is very important for us to know that there is a gap when the mother breastfeed the child so the bonding creates the emotional bonding so the weaning will be very much comfortable so everything so how the baby uh, what is the disadvantage to the baby disadvantage to the mother and even you can ask me that when the breast milk is compromised mother ko breast milk nahi ho raha so then how sir you are telling that we should not encourage bottle feeding so there are other means in that way in that there are very traditional ways also in that way you can feed the baby and also i want to say after 6 month also when the baby starts weaning so at that time also we should discourage the baby to have bottle because we find you have seen in the bus train or different places public places the 2 years 3 years children are also taking bottles so we should not encourage these things because that is not the age to have bottle even you can admit that 6 month baby is having a bottle but the baby who uh, the picture in this is a 18 month baby lying uh, in the sofa and having this bottle so this is not at all tolerated that not at all acceptable for the community so let's come to the topic so we have divided the topic into three parts first part will be uh, the importance of breast milk and breastfeeding then about the bottle and its disadvantage and about some research and articles and how to improve breastfeeding so that all things we will uh, discuss today so i will request everyone to interact at the end of the session so that it will be a very interactive session and we will get to know from each other that what are the things those who are pediatric practicing dietitian there are many dietitian from the different nutrition companies also so those who are present today i will also request you to share your live experiences that what the challenges you are facing when counseling this baby so uh, this is very very important uh, for us to educate uh, the mother as well as not only the mother as well as the family member is very very important so to describe uh, so to invite the uh, faculties or today speaker i would like to request our uh, own pritha vishwas who is also a dietitian and nutritionist from completed her bsc food and nutrition from university of calcutta msc applied nutrition from west bengal university of health science she is also a certified diabetes educator and obviously the family member of medical nutrition therapy and cognize family so uh, i welcome you pritha and i uh, request you to introduce our speakers thank you sir good evening everyone so i must say yeah, that it is a very uh, important uh, initiative which is taken by our cognize nutrition on such an alarming topic uh, chosen for our today's discussion i think most of us who have joined today are nutritionist so you all can very much relate with today's topic and can share your valuable inputs in the q&a session which will be taken after the presentation now before moving forward to the main presentation where our speakers will be highlighting about the pros and cons of breastfeeding versus bottle feeding i will like to uh, give a brief introduction of them
so the speakers please switch on your camera so that the introductions are being given after that afterwards you can may switch off your camera yes you can go to the next slide yes sir. go to the next slide please sir uh, this is the first slide only but the, go to the speak, speaker slide speaker's introduction slide i have i have gone to the speaker introduction slide sir oh it has not changed in my uh, laptop oh may may maybe uh, yes now it came to shagota slide yes sweetie go to ritika slide please yes you can start the introduction okay the first speaker of today's session is ritika roy she is from barashas she have completed her graduation in food and nutrition from calcutta university she had pursued her masters in food and nutrition from west bengal state university she have completed her ba she have completed an internship as clinical dietitian from narayana multi speciality hospital she is a certified diabetes educator formerly she was attached as a nutritional faculty at vss institute in bangalore she currently is now the senior dietitian at fitelo she is a student of medical nutrition therapy and a member of our cognize nutrition our next speaker is Sweety Datta, she is from Hubli. She has also graduated uh, from Calcutta University. She has pursued her master's from uh, Vidyashar University in Dietetics and Community Nutritional Management. She has completed her internship as clinical dietitian from Techno India Dama Hospital and Healthcare Center. She has also completed clinical nutrition therapy and renal course from Techno India Dama Hospital and Healthcare Center. She pursued her intern. She is now pursuing her internship from Shahayta uh, Foundation. Now she is a life member of Shahayta and FST and Exploration Foundation. She is a student of medical nutrition therapy and a member of Cognizant Nutrition as well. Our third speaker is Shagota Dolu. She is from Amta. She has also completed her B.Sc. in Food and Nutrition from Calcutta University, and now she is a student of Dietetics and Food Service Management of IGNU. She is also a student of our Medical Nutrition Therapy and a family member of our Cognize Nutrition. Now I would like to hand over the session to Ritika to carry over with the presentation. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Prita. Good evening, Prita. everyone. Wherever required, Pritha, you can just use the cursor. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. Hmm. Good evening, everyone. I am Ritvika Roy. Firstly, thanking to Cognize Nutrition and Dietitian Shomintu Ghosh sir for giving us such a wonderful platform where we can learn and also explore ourselves with the new things. Today, we will be presenting about the topic breastfeeding versus bottle feeding. It is a very important concern among today's mother. who is very much busy in their life basically for those mothers who are trying to balance their work and family life all together we all know breast milk is the miracle food for the baby and breastfeeding is a beautiful phenomenon of a woman's life on the other hand bottle feeding is the most easy technique used by the mother who cannot breastfeed or who decide not to feed their baby although infant's formula is a healthy alternative also So let us take the opportunity to understand about breastfeed and bottle feed in a more specific way. Now we are directly entering into our topic. Over to my fellow colleague Shagota. Thank you. Thank you, Ritika. You have introduced our topic nicely. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Shagota Dolui. I shall be continuing the topic with the breastfeeding. <coughs> breastfeeding. is an unequal way of providing ideal food for the infant <clears throat> as they grow breast milk adapts in composition to match the needs of developing child and the fat content of breast milk changes from the beginning to the end of a single feeding it save clean and contain antibodies like iga igg igm which help protect against many common childhood illness it also important for baby's gut health so it is primary recommendation of pediatricians and nutritionists as well as all national and international guideline for at least first 12 month of life and exclusively best feed for 6 months of life 
शो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू द बेनिफिट ऑफ ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग फॉर इन्फेंट ब्रेस्ट मिल्क प्रोवाइड ऑल द एनर्जी एंड न्यूट्रिय इन ऑल द राइट प्रोपोर्शन ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट डेज आफ्टर चाइल्ड बर्थ ब्रेस्ट प्रोड्यूस ए थिक एंड येलोइज फ्लूड कॉल्ड कोलस्ट्रम इट्स हाई इन प्रोटीन लो इन शुगर एंड लोडेड विथ बेनिफिशियल कॉम्पाउंड इट्स द आइडियल फर्स्ट मील एंड हेल्प द न्यू बॉर्न इन मेच्योर डायजेस्टिव ट्रैक डेवलप इट्स ट्रूली ए उन्डर फूड एंड नॉट रिप्लेसेबल बाई फॉर्मूला After the first few days, the breast started producing a large amount of milk as the baby's stomach grows. In a publication on the long-term advantages of breastfeeding, World Health Organization concluded that there is strong evidence of a casual effect of breastfeeding on IQ. So we can say that it is optimal nutrition for infant. it also enhances immune system by producing antibodies breast milk supplies enzymes like amylase oxidase lipoproteolipase bile salt stimulated lipase lactoperoxidase etc these enzymes increase digestibility and also act as a defense against microbes it helps to protect against allergies and intolerance breast feeding may reduce your baby's risk for many illness and disease those we can see here uh, like chronic disease such as obesity heart disease childhood leukemia and reduce risk for non specific gastroenteritis severe lower respiratory tract infection and asthma it also reduce risk for infant morbidity and mortality next slide please not only child but also mother receives many health benefit as well breast feeds does burn more calories which may lead to faster return to pregnant pre pregnancy weight oxytocin hormone also increase during breast feeding it's it's encourage uterine construction and reduce bleeding and help the uterine return to its previous size breast feeding decrease risk for many sorry breast feeding decrease risk for chronic disease such as type 2 diabetes breast and ovarian cancer it also improve bone density and decrease for hip fraction overall breast feeding save time and money both next slide please many mother don't know about the right position of child holding during breast feeding so a dietitian and a nurse should educate the mother about the right breast feeding position here we discuss about five common position to make feeding comfortable for you and your baby both which we can see in this slide first we come uh, first we know about the cradle hold for performing this position sit somewhere with support to to keep your arm at the right height like an armchair or couch if needed you can use pillow to support your arm position your little one to uh, position your little one in your lap with their head in the crook of your arm keep your baby's chest against yours so they don't have to turn their head towards your beds breasts if necessary use pillows to support your baby's head second one is cross cradle hold this position is useful when first learning to breastfeed and is a great option for small babies it's allow you to have good control of your baby's head while helping your little one to latch on think of this as the reverse of cradle hold to perform the cross cradle hold position your baby in the opposite direction of the cradle hold with their head in your hand rather than the crook of your arm 
third one is football hold if you are dealing with engorged breast or sore nipples this is a great position to try the football hold help to perform plank duck by positioning your baby to empty the bottom duct it's a win for both of you while turn on your side hold your baby like a football along your forearm with your baby's body on your arm and face towards your breast position your position your baby's leg under your arm use your other hand to support your breast this holding is also helpful if you have undergone a cesarean section and can't place your baby on your stomach while nursing fourth one is side lying position if you and your baby are more comfortable lying down this is a great position to try lay on your side and place your baby on their side facing your facing you with their head at your breast support your back with pillows and make sure that baby's nose isn't obstructed and the last one is laid back position this position may help to prevent sore nipples and it's a good option for nursing premises twins and babies that have trouble breastfeeding this shouldn't be a fully flat position lay semi reclined in a chair or a bed with adequate support for your back neck and head baby rest on your body from this slide we can conclude that while breastfeed the mother should always be a relaxation position i hope you all understand how much breastfeeding is important not only for child but also for their mothers here i would like to conclude my portion now we are coming to the bottle feeding this portion will be described by shweti datta now over to shweti thank you thank you shagota you have uh, described the best feeding perfectly and also for giving me a chance to talk about the baby bottle hello everyone good evening i am shweti datta i shall be continuing the topic with the bottle feeding the more we know about human breast milk the more we know we discover about its value in human nutrition and development a newborn has only three demands like the air warmth in the arms of its mother food from her breast and last one is security in the knowledge of her presence most mother and specialists agree that breastfeeding is the ideal option for a newborn but this is not always be possible motherhood comes with many choices and decision to make regarding childhood care one of the first decision you have to make is how to feed your baby i am discussing uh, i am discussing the disadvantages of bottle feeding as a bottle baby so what are these disadvantages exactly learning the potential side effect of bottle feeding will help you make an informed decision next slide please yes now this slide is very important for us to know so requesting you to pay attention baby bottle come in different shape size and material including glass plastic silicon and stainless steel also it is important to note that some plastic bottles labeled bpa free meaning that they do not contain the chemical bisphenol a which is a found in some plastic and may affect kids health next one is glass bottle glass bottles are free of bpa can last for long time but can crack and chip so they need to be checked often to avoid harm to baby third one is nipple nipples come in silicone or silicone or latex we don't know exactly how all of these compounds affect human health while it is very important to spread the awareness do not lose sleep over baby with plastic bottles next slide please yes in the first year of life infants undergo periods of rapid growth 
and at that time good nutrition is crucial now i will discuss about side effect of bottle feeding in infant feeding method influence jaw growth as a child based feed the lip close and the tongue position is the palatal region of the central but when baby is bottle feed the tongue only controls the milk flow as a result the tongue tends to rest in the wrong place their tongue is restricted so they do not get enough practice making a sounds which leads delayed uh, speech development next one is a gas gas are common among bottle feed babies bottle feed babies are more likely to suffer ear infection a negative pressure are more likely uh, a negative pressure is the generated in the oral cavity when babies are feed when babies are feed by a bottle when liquid is removed from the bottle a negative pressure is generated in the bottle as well this pressure can reach the middle ear via tube resulting ear infection and other side a baby who lies down while drinking from a bottle may get more ear infection the milk or juice go up through the tubes irritating or swelling them sugar in these liquids causes germs to grow for infants not being breastfed is associated with an increased incidence of comorbidity including otitis media pneumonia childhood diabetes and sudden infant death syndrome next one is very common obesity obesity is one of the side effect of prolonged bottle feeding bottle feeding infants are more likely to develop allergies diarrhea and infection bottle feed babies are also more prone of respiratory issues chronic respiratory syndrome may be caused by prolonged bedtime bottle feed next slide please yes i will discuss what problem mother face if they do not breastfeed now mother can face many problem like when you do not breastfeed it you increase your own risk like diabetes uh, overweight and obesity nowadays overweight and obesity is a very common word obesity uh, is a now epidemic condition most people are suffering from it those who not breastfeed it suffer more breast cancer is in lactating women is rare but breastfeeding can have protective health benefits for both mother and baby breastfeeding uh, may decrease the risk of epithelial ovarian cancer also epidemiologic data epidemiologic data suggests that women who have not breastfed face higher risk of metabolic disease and cardiovascular disease also breastfeeding can be very rewarding we all know but it is a uh, it is healthier for mom and baby it is also health further the bond between mom and baby a mom can feel good about being able to provide for her baby but breastfeeding is not right or possible for everyone what should be done at that time ritika roy will discuss that now would like to hand over the remaining slide to ritika over to ritika thank you thank you sweety for giving such a informative insight about bottle feeding now i'll be adding points about some gadgets which we can basically use for feeding babies through paladi jeta ke amra banglay jhinuk bole thaki cups spoons mothers can feed liquid as well as semi solid foods to their baby other than bottles these gadgets are really beneficial for those babies who are premature unable to suck nipple as well as for mothers who cannot breastfeed or can partially breastfeed in the first picture we can see mother using spoon for feeding as spoon feeding was used in very first ancient days to feed babies it helps in early weight gain and early discharge from hospital of preterm or low birth weight babies 
it has traditionally been the prevalent way to introduce solids to the babies secondly we must say feeding through pallady is a very old tradition used by the mothers grandmothers since long years milk or any type of semi solid weaning foods can introduce to the baby through pallady it is a very easy technique and safer than bottle it is much easier to clean and is therefore associated with less risk of gastrointestinal tract infection therefore calf feeding is an alternative way to feed infants when they are unable to feed directly at the breast and when infant feeding items cannot be cleaned properly calves are easily cleaned with washing in hot soapy water calf feeding may be beneficial for babies who get gassy from the bottle feeding and moreover it does not affect baby's ability to return to the breast so every mother should start feeding their baby with calf spoon pallady rather than the bottle next slide please those who are using bottle to feed their baby should keep in mind about some precautions while feeding their baby like never store breast milk or formula milk in plastic bottles kitchen bags etc as these include chemical bisphenol a that is a harmful for baby's endocrine system secondly always use warm water instead of hot water to clean bottles because studies suggest that uh, heating bottles to 120 degree fahrenheit causes the quality of breast milk to deteriorate significantly scientifically it is suggested that harsh cleaner on polycarbonate bottles should not be used since it can cause polycarbonate to break down quickly so always use a gentle cleaner to clean baby bottle it is recommended that hold your baby close when feed him or her a bottle do not prop or leave the bottle in baby's mouth this can increase baby's risk of choking ear infection to decay lastly i must say the lids of bottle should tight fitting if there is any leakage baby may get affected next slide please yes here we have mentioned some research articles researchers are mostly said breast milk is the best nutrition for infant's growth and development but those mothers who were unable to provide sufficient breast milk the current option of choice is infant formula for them according to world health organization unicef children initiate breastfeeding within the first hour of birth and be exclusively breastfed for the first 6 months of life next slide please thank you uh, now in this slide i would like to suggest few tips for those mothers actually who are truly wants to breastfeed and eagerly wants to know how can increase breast milk production firstly i can say a healthy balanced diet should improve breast milk production of a mother secondly throughout the whole day mother should drink plenty amount of water as breast milk contains lots of water so it can be a struggle to increase breast milk production if mother are not well hydrated mother should intake milk and milk products like curd lassi butter milk paneer and soya milk tofu in daily basis as we all know milk is an ideal food it contains high amount of protein calcium vitamin d moreover it helps to reduce risk of developing food allergies herbs like fenugreek somb fennel garlic fresh ginger asparagus satavari plant should keep in a lactating lactating mother's diet they play a vital role in milk production and fenugreek stimulates sweat production as because the breast is a modified sweat gland milk ducts and milk ejection is stimulated fennel is also known as galactogog garlic have longer breastfeeding hours than others ginger is a promising natural galactogog to improve breast milk volume in the immediate postpartum period without any notable side effect 
Satavari plants can increase milk supply by increasing prolactin level in the woman. Asparagus has something called estrogenic properties that raise prolactin levels in the body and boost milk. So anatherly, mother's diet should contain green leafy vegetables more in regular basis. As vegetable contains micromineral like zinc, copper, iron, iodine, vitamins, etc. So that baby's daily requirement can be fulfilled through the breast milk. Also, we must recommend it fruits like apricots, dates and figs in lactating mother's diet. Because it can increase prolactin, which is a hormone that tells the body to produce milk. Apricots also contain essential nutrients such as dietary fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium. Also, green papaya is recommended for lactating mother as it is a great source of galactogob. It regulates the production of oxytocin and increases the breast milk supply. Nutritionists must recommend it lactogenic food like almond, oatmeal porridge, barley for lactating mothers. Especially, oatmeal contains saponin which maximize the efficacy of breast milk supply hormones. Also, barley is one of the richest sources of beta-glucan that helps to increase the prolactin levels in the mothers. We must recommend sesame seeds. It's a good source of omega-3 fatty acid, minerals and calcium and is the best food for breast milk as it contains plant estrogen that improves the breast milk supply. So, Lastly, we can say breastfeeding is a mother's gift to herself, her baby and the earth. Next slide, please. Waters fill his stomach, but breastfeeding fills his soul. A valuable quotation given by Danny Musinger. Thank you everyone for staying and spend your valuable time with us. So uh, now we are open to take question and answers. Thank you. Thank you all the speakers for the very insightful and very just crisp topic. So many things yet to discuss, but we have kept the session very informative and very crisp. So many things we came to know that one thing I have just put in the chat box, Ritika, you are tell, telling about not boiling the bottle. The people have a tendency to boil in 100 degrees centigrade. So these things, uh, few, few message. The dietitians are not only to give away the diet chart and to calculate the calories. So we need to clarify the mother because our 80% thing is we have to counsel. Counseling the mother, counseling the patient is the very important part. So if you don't have this information, aapke paas information nahi hoga, to aap kaise information doge. And whenever many companies like Nestle, Abbott, Danone and many companies, they are providing dietitian to the pediatrician. So I request all the pediatric dietitians, so those who are uh, working there, always please educate. Whenever it is required to give formula feed, doctor is the best judge, pediatricians are the best judge to prescribe infant formulas. So do not interrupt into that. We are not against pediatric, uh, sorry, nutrition formulas. Whenever required nutrition formulas should be given along with breastfeeding. But you should uh, teach the mother about that. Uh, first of all, we should discourage bottle feeding. Whatever Ritika is, uh, said, said that use of spoon or that we in Bengali call jinu, that should be used. And obviously, uh, we should again and again promote breastfeeding. We should not promote breastfeeding on the breastfeeding week, but throughout everyday life, every day we have to promote these things. So we can stop share the screen and we can uh, take uh, more questions and feedbacks also. So uh, Jyoti ma'am has given, Shomam has joined. Thank you Shomam for joining from NIN. Uh, uh, though you have joined later, but still thank you so much for joining. So uh, Shourobi ma'am has joined for JNR, uh, Jane Roy Hospital. So if any feedback uh, you have, you can share with our students. The students have tried their level best to give us the information. Thank you, Shomam. So Chinmoy, now it is open for you as you have educated many nurses on this and you have shown them many educational videos. Do you want to say anything, any informative, info, important uh, tips on this, Chinmoy? 
ফার্স্ট অফ অল ভেরি নাইস সেশন মানে খুবই ভালো হয়েছে মানে একদম টপ টু বটম যেরকম পয়েন্ট গুলো ক্লিয়ারলি ডিসক্রাইব করা হয়েছে মানে মানে ভীষণ ভালো লাগলো সেশনটা তারপরে আমরা অবভিয়াসলি ফার্স্ট অফ অল তো আমরা ব্রেস্ট ফিডিং কেই সব সময় এনকারেজ করি কি ব্রেস্ট ফিডিং টা কেন না जितना न्यूट्रिशन एक बेबी को मिलता है वो एक, वो एक फॉर्मूला फिड नहीं दे सकता है तो और फॉर्मूला फिड के टाइम भी मतलब हर कोई मदर सही से फीडिंग नहीं करवा करवा सकते हैं तो उस टाइम ये क्या मतलब सिविलियन सेटिस होता है तो फर्स्ट दो तीन दिन के लिए भी बोला जाता है कि फीडिंग में प्रॉब्लम होता है तो देते हैं बट उस टाइम भी हाइजीन एक बहुत बड़ा रोल प्ले करता है क्योंकि अगर फॉर्मूला फिड भी देते हैं उस टाइम में अगर हाइजीन प्रॉपरली फॉलो नहीं करते हैं तो उससे भी बेबी को मैक्सिम चांसेस रहता है कि इन्फेक्शन का और ये और आ, मतलब ब्रेस्ट फूड फर्स्ट अगर होता है आज पर डॉक्टर रिकमेंडेशन अगर डॉक्टर ओनली रिकमेंड करते हैं तभी हम मतलब एक बेबी को ही दे सकते हैं और कौन सा फॉर्मूला एक बेबी के लिए बेटर रहेगा वो एक डॉक्टर से ज्यादा कोई नहीं बता सकता है law we are not supposed to uh, prescribe any infant formula we are not against infant formula also and we are not uh, authorized to prescribe infant formula we are authorized to uh, prescribe above 2 years that is nutrition supplement you are authorized to prescribe but infant formula is in the separate group so that is also a import, important message i want to give you but the winning formula you are able to that is i am giving some example that is isam serilac nestam that can be uh, recommended by a dietitian but not any infant formula apart from uh, those dietitians who are working in the pic or pediatric have authority so apart from that we not comment on that uh, yes uh, we are open rehab am i audible okay good evening sir yeah, good evening everyone are. it was a wonderful presentation अच्छा बाय दैट टाइम दोस हु स्पीकर्स प्लीज स्विच ऑन योर कैमरा प्लीज फॉर द सेशन ना इट लुक्स बैड ना व्हेन वी आर यार लेट एट लीस्ट कस्ट यू कैन कंटिन्यू यू मे इफ यू प्रीथ यू कैन कंटिन्यू सो इट वाज अ वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन हर एक पॉइंट को बहुत अच्छे से बहुत डिटेल्स में फैक्चुअली इन एक्सप्लेन किया गया है and i just want to add something to chinmay's point is that uh, when mothers are not educated well about breastfeeding uh, then uh, and uh, without proper education if formula feeding is started there is a problem that occurs due to a smolarity as well which causes a huge problem with the babies and their digestive system because the digestive system is very new and it is not able to adapt to those changes so this cause this also causes a major problem the osmolarity and it can lead to constipation diarrhea and various other com- uh, complex issues so yeah this is one point that i very very to important add. very important point highlighted that whatever is this recommendation for water and mixing the formula feed so you have to stick on that to maintain the osmolarity and there is a high chance of diarrhea for these babies so uh, there are different variations also so the patients who are having diarrhea breast feed or having lactose intolerance also so breast milk can be given to that patient but for in case of infant formula cannot be given to a lactose intolerant baby so in that time we have to we have to choose soya for soya based formula that that the doctor will decide but base, breast milk at any cost it is the gift of nature it is the grip gift uh, like it it can prevent and treat many diseases uh so next moving to shoma or anyone who has raised hand shoma yes uh good evening sir and good evening to all it was a very nice and informative session and i just want to know that uh, uh, here is uh, some functional food was told uh, by speakers like fennel seed and uh, 
uh, fenugreek. So I just want to know the doses and how to consume it uh, uh, by the mothers and what would be the suggestion for them. <coughs> then yes. i will add add something to yes uh, fenugreek and fennel and some uh, seeds may uh, boil uh, in the a very uh, first morning in this stomach uh, you can boil one tablespoon and you can uh, add in ginger and garlic uh, like little bit little bit also in this in this and boil it for some time and after that uh, one cup and one glass like 100 ml or yeah, 150 ml so you can take uh, it lukewarm so it will be very beneficial for mothers okay okay uh, so that yes. uh, should not be First of should all, not be taken raw shouldn't be taken no. raw okay, okay no no i must suggest it's uh, we uh, if we can boil it so it will be uh, like more relevant to mother also uh, just to add a point on that if the patient is diabetic if the mother is diabetic so uh, just uh, don't uh, prescribe any herbs without doctor's permission like fenugreek may, may uh, create also hypoglycemia lower down the sugar so if the patient is a normal patient so the herbs are always good but first of all what rithika has said to increase the quality of breast milk we need to give a balanced diet dietary fiber we have to give enough amount of protein we have to give we have to see on the recommended doses because during pregnancy the household members or the in-laws take care of the mother but just after the baby's birth they are all busy with the baby they do not take care of the mother but as per the recommendation of the icmr all the micronutrient and the macronutrient recommendations are high pregnancy theke lactation e sobkichu recommendation beshi kintu lactation er shomoy take care hoy na this is not taken care so first is balanced diet next another point told by ritika i need to clear is to take enough fluid not tea and coffee or alcohol but we have to take enough of other uh, non carbonated beverages and Uh, liquid during breastfeeding also you need to educate the mother to sip on glasses first one glass of water to be taken before breastfeeding during breastfeeding they should sip on liquids and after breastfeeding they got highly dehydrated then also they should take one glass of water so water is very important uh, during breastfeeding this is this is to increase the volume and for the quantity uh, that is balanced diet satavari she has told about asparagus south satavari their granules are even prescribed by the gynecologist so this is a very good herb even prescribed by the allopathic doctor and actually i have find that i have found that this increases that breast milk production even i have prescribed with the uh, permission of some of the gynecologists so satavari that it is available in the lactonic galactogog lactonic granules these are very very good uh, breast milk in enhancer so today's uh, session is a compact session not against bottle only but to and how to increase breast milk how to enhance milk production if bottle is given how to take care of the bottle everything is important in today's session so today's session maybe somebody is thinking that it is not a part of clinical nutrition no it is the part of nutrition and it is very important topic for us we should not neglect because nutrition starts from mother womb or for us it starts after birth that is when we are detached from the mother so it it starts from that point till our death so from the mother womb to till death nutrition is important so at any cost we cannot uh, just compromise with that ognita basu agnijita sorry ognijita basu you have raised yeah. hand Uh -huh. I yes, have one question. Yes. Uh, yes. yes, please. How to inject garlic and ginger? Uh, hello. Hello. Acha, ginger, uh, garlic is clove. Garlic cloves. Garlic cloves. That is aqua roshun jaglo pawa jai. That is more beneficial, which is also used for cholesterol lowering. Also, 
garlic paste garlic in cooking uh, garlic raw garlic in early morning is very good for breast milk production sabudana or sago is very good barley is very good and ginger you can have ginger tea you can boil also ginger you can during cooking so you are using ginger because we are indians are blessed with many herbs and spices in cooking but you also can have ginger tea ajwan tea because at that time we will restrict the patients to take ppi antacid not to take allopathic medicine to reduce the gas or reduce the heart burn so at that time joan ajwan is very good uh, jeera is very good so this can reduce the uh, gas of the mother and many common questions asked by the mother that my uh, digestion a problem hole ki bacharo hobe mar gas hole ki bacharo hobe this is not directly related though the doctor will said no but in my clinical practice i found that sometimes it happen if the mother has taken too much of spicy food pizza burger cold drinks so the but the child suffers it is directly related the nutrient passes on okay so i will request during the lactation period the mother should have a healthy balanced diet and not to uh, go for junk food and fast food especially carbonated beverage and too much of tea and coffee uh, dalia singh yes dalia is a very good uh, pediatric dietitian dalia any uh, suggestion for us or any inputs for us sir garlic is there acidic for mother garlic acidic ha garlic no no not it will not create any acid or gas लेमन जूस इज ऑल्सो नॉट एडवाइजेबल डालिया Dalia, go yeah, ahead with your question. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, it is a very nice session. Uh, congratulations to the speakers. Sir, um, I have a question. Uh, sir, sometimes we see that. Uh, sir, Bangladesh is to say that. 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 शुरूते ज्योति पारिसा मैम लिखल चैट बक्स mastication and this is very important for the tooth and already i think uh, one of our speaker has already told about that so that is uh, very very important that or orofacial development is in the negative way bottle feeding interferes with the orofacial development so that is already told by jyoti parisha ma'am so that is the thing that whenever we are uh, just uh, in when every everybody wants to find comfort so babies are also that so whenever the babies are accustomed with that um, bottle feeding so they reject breast feeding that is another thing and night time bottle feeding is very very dangerous bottle feeding at the age after one year is very very dangerous you can go for sipper you can use straw you can give different spoons to have the liquid but don't uh, encourage to have bottle feeding rate shuar shomoy ekta bottle dhoriye rate ghumer ghore kaatche bottle dhoriye dicche bashe jete jete bottle suck korte korte chole jacche koto je detrimental effect hocche eta amra mane jodi bojhate pari to the mother it will be a great success for you and uh, the baby also so this this babe bottle feeding also leads to fussy eater fussy eating eo kintu amra chole jacche कतदिन 
অব্দি প্রথম বছর অব্দি মানে সার্ভিস করতে পারবো কেন না সেলিব্রেশন বলতে বলে দাও अनुजाई कमते स्वागत मदारिंग छाड़ानी Mane, I should not say against any doctor, but it is totally uh, against the guideline. We should not go against the guideline. Okay. There is uh, you even after one year, okay. even after twelve months, as a nutritionist, you know that each and every food a child can take what the mother, except for the long ka jhal and spices. Shop kiche par ekta baat. Shop kichu dite paro portion size. Ekdom ekdom. Into ha, but not cow milk. Yes, there are no cow milk till two years. Haan. This is this is also guideline. You can introduce um, carbs. I don't have any problem. I mean, I'm not going to. 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 चले जाने Uh, we should not use this word, but uh, for me, it is not justifiable. Hmm. So you can take others' opinion also. Chin me, those who are uh, pediatric practice training dietitian, Kalpana ma'am can uh, add on, Komal ma'am can add on those who are in the pediatric practice. But from my long time experience, I do not encourage. And my Kolkata doctor one year, and my district doctor used to say two year. But two year er par Amar kono doctor face kori ni. Some exceptional cases you are fa- facing in Orissa. That is exceptional. Orissa. Another challenge I faced while working in Katak and Bhubaneswar. That is to give huge amount of cow milk to the baby. Act theke dead liter dud khawa chhata baat chake. Ebang ukhane nutrition supplement health drink ke dud chhara ra khaya hai. Namra jodi recommendo kori jolly khawa the. Ora bhabe na kono nutrition paabe na. Ora dud prochondo beshi khawa hai. तो इतना दूध बेची दवा जाए ना 250 ml इज़ ओके बट 200 ml इज़ ओके 
so now we will able to uh, have to conclude the session uh, in 3 or 4 minutes by 7:30 uh, megma last uh, sir, question you can you can sir ha bolo sir amar question hai sir so if infant had lactose intolerance uh, so why what food we refer must suggest lactose intolerance in fact breast if the patient is within one, uh, six months only breastfeeding even the patient is lactose intolerant even the mother is having the baby is having diarrhea also you will give only breastfeeding even the uh, uh, mother is having any sensitive disease then breastfeeding sh should not be given which is can be transferred to breastfeeding tahale madebo na but if the if it is lactose intolerant then soya based formula should be given in the market soya formulas are available i cannot promote any brand here so i am not telling any brand name brand name but uh, onyx soya based infant formula ache till 2 year of the ache 0 to 2 year shei gulo dewa jabe soya based product soya based infant formula not soya based product je kono ekta reliance ba more theke ekta soya milk tule ene diye dewa jabe na that is available in the medicine shop only with prescription you have to take hmm. Okay, okay, sir. Infant you, sir. formula, soya based infant formula. Offline, I will tell you some names, but non, not here. Uh, Arunima. Yes, Good evening, sir. Good evening to all the speakers and attendees. Achha, be, sir, my be, before going, before going, going, going to Arunima, uh, just as Megma has thinked uh, before, so can we take Megma's and then Arunima's question? Arunima, yes, Megma. Sir, sure, sure, sir. Uh, thank you, Arunima. Sir, স্যার বলছি আমার কোশ্চেন হচ্ছে যে এই যে অনেক বাচ্চাকে এই যে বটল ফিডিং আর এই যে স্ট্র দিয়ে খাওয়ানোর জন্য এটার থেকে কি কোনো গ্যাস হওয়ার চান্সেস থাকছে মানে হচ্ছে সেরম ভাবে নয় কিন্তু কি এই এত বেশি ওয়াইন মানে উইন্টার যেহেতু ইয়ারটা যেহেতু সাফ করছে ওরা যখন অনেক সময় বোতলটা ফাঁকা হয়ে যাচ্ছে তো এক্সট্রা এটা বলা হয়েছে তো সেশনে তো বলেছে সেশন হ্যাজ অলরেডি কভার দিস পয়েন্ট So this point we will not take. Okay, so this is already covered. Uh, already, Preetha or Ritika, do you want to say in one line to Megma about the thing? Any any speaker? J present kore chhami. I mean, Sweetie that to ita present kore chhe. So Sweetie, can you just? Sweetie has presented this. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Or ek shomai hoy bachchala jato toko khawar dorka chilo. Tatte ke o beshi khene. खूब बसिना हम आसा छोट बा छोट बा ढेकुर तोलानो दैट इज भेरि इम्पोर्टेंट उंसिल मदार इज जयिंग फर वार्क सो दर कैन जस्ट एक्सप्रेस दिल्क कैन स्टोर इन दिफ्रिजारेटर अल्सो इट शुड नट बी हिटेड इट शुड कम टू दूम टेम्पारेचर और गरम जल बाटी बसिए बोतल टाके हल्का उष्ण करते वार्म करते दें यू कैन यूज दस स्टील और झिनुक टू गिव दैट मिल्क ऋतिका ठीक है तो ऋतिका यू आर ऑन म्यूट 
बटले तो खुब इजिली दिए जा तो बटले दिल सेफ्टी मेजार्स गो ऋतिका दिल सुटी बलो से मेजार्स गो देखा दिए सामटाइम्स देवा असुविधा क्या मदार्स तो इनाफ ब्रेस्ट मिल्क आड़ीते फिट कराते चाहिए तक आज निपिल कन्फ्यूशन हो खिचुड़ी सब खाना प्रेस कर बेबी mothers are worried about their shape of the body we are uh, um, already um, seen that the, uh, there have lots of galactagogar present but if someone uh, uh, following uh, weight loss uh, journey or uh, weight loss diet plan or balanced diet any kind of that is effect on your uh, milk production or not or it should be recommended after yes. one year or it should be recommended after, uh, after one year. six month after, after one, one year, year not you, you you can recommend after six month also but not on very okay. low calorie diet because if the mother is partially breastfeeding so eight to ten months yes. oishi tumi kono diet dite mm-hmm. jeo na ami ditam na tai bole diet debo na mane it is not like that je ami junk food fast food khete bolbo mane ekta shomoy erokom ashe i am telling in bengali sorry हंड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्रेड्
millet in this way give healthy diet but calorie should be calorie protein should be high then after one year mm-hmm. you recommend that uh, diet khub sensibly kotha ta bollo ha apni diet korte parben kintu seta ami decide korbo kibhabe ki debo but apni weight loss er oi rokom expectation korben na je mashe 2 kg 3 kg weight kombe but apnake age form e niye ashbo shape e ante gele ektu shomoy lagbe ar breast feeding korale body shape noshto hobe na borong bhalo thakbe baby spacing bhalo thakbe shob kichu thik thakbe shetake you have to educate the mother that is very important exactly mane oite counseling korar shomoy actually onara bujhtei chan na je ekta time por ota naturally kome jabe but रेकर्डिंग